All right, hey everybody, Paul Turner from the DiscipleProject.net, and I have decided to revisit the janky nine square uh, because I don't like to end on a sour note that <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> quite the way I wanted to, as many of our things do sometimes. So let me just show you a couple of the changes that I made here. Let me bring you over here real quick to show you what I did. So basically I took down the nine, I took down a bunch of the back poles on each side, and created a giant four square. So when I step in here, I have big giant four square. This whole space right that I'm in is one square and then four, uh, three others just like it. Now the other thing that I did to correct this measure is uh, to change the kind of ball. Now I was using a traditional volleyball, which I don't know why I did that because I'm, I know that I've seen nine square played and it wasn't with a traditional volleyball. So what I got, was this, and this is a much lighter, bigger ball. Ooh, hey there. And um, and so it, it can just go over the net a lot easier. Kids can, uh, are not, uh, well, these my kids. I say my kids are not fantastic athletes, uh, so they need something like this versus something like a real volleyball that requires any kind of skill to actually hit. One of the changes I made is, uh, this is gonna be a group effort to start with and then it will uh, go down from there because there'll be a group in each one, there'll be about four or five people in each square. If they hit the ball out, if they are the, the, the reason why the ball went out of bounds or why the ball wasn't hit uh, back over the net, then uh, they're the ones gonna be out and then I will have them rotate. So then it gets down to then two and they can play all four squares if they want to and they're gonna have to run around and so forth. So uh, let's go ahead and see how that worked out. I think that worked out far better uh, than my other janky uh, nine squares in the air that I had. And, uh, and you know, the rules, once again, were super simple. I just put four or five in a square. If you missed the ball, uh, you were responsible for that or you hit it out, you're out. And then I just slowly started to decrease the numbers that are on the field to where you had to cover more squares. So when it came down to two people, well, then eventually you had a winner. So I hope that you enjoyed my revisit uh, to the Janky Nine Square, and hopefully I have redeemed myself in your eyes. I know I have in my own. So uh, if you're brand spec new to the channel, thanks for checking it out. I appreciate you being here, being a part of the community. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because I would love for you to be a part of this community and I would love to be a part of your ministry and the work you do with young people. If you're a regular, by the way, thanks for hanging out, being a part. You guys are fantastic. Uh, great things are ahead. Please leave me some comments down below. Is there something you've tried twice in a row? Maybe you want to share your mistake or your mess up or something like that uh, to make me feel better if nothing else. Uh, but feel free to leave comments down below. All right, that's it for today, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Talk to you later.